down on your mat. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Draw the shoulder blades together gently. Close your eyes. And just breathe deeply and softly. Let the body relax onto the mat. Feel the rise and fall of the breath with each inhalation and exhalation. Feel the front to back and side to side movement of the body with each breath in and breath out. And now bring your awareness to your senses. Feel the temperature in the room. Feel the parts of the body that touch the mat or the floor or props. Notice the sounds that you hear. The scent in the air. Feel the coolness of the air as you inhale through your nose. And feel the warmth of the air as you exhale out through the nose. Notice the taste in your mouth. Let your tongue rest just behind your upper teeth to release your jaw. And then notice the light behind your eyes. Bring your curled index fingers to the center of your forehead and then draw the fingers from the center of your forehead out towards your temples. And then bring the first two fingers of each hand to your temples, make circles around. And then pause, go the other way. And pause, and then bring your fingertips to your jaw and make some circles. And go the other way.
Bring your hands together and just rest them on your face. And feel the temperature of your hands resting on the skin. And then bring the palms together again, rub them together. Bring your hands to rest at your abdomen. Just let the hands rest here. Feel the weight of your hands. Notice the temperature. Notice if your fingertips touch or not. And then breathe into the belly. Draw the breath in. Feel the belly rise up underneath your palms. And then exhale and let the belly go back to its natural position. Inhale, draw the breath in, and exhale. Just take a few breaths in and out. Bring your hands to your ribs. And now draw the breath into the rib cage and expand your ribs into your palms. And then exhale and let the ribs come back into the middle. Inhale, expand your ribs to the sides of your waist. And exhale. Take a few more diaphragmatic breaths, breathing into the rib cage, into the diaphragm. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. And once again, feel the weight of your hands, feel the temperature. And then breathe into the chest. As you inhale, lift the chest into your palms. And then exhale. Inhale, lift the chest into your palms, spread your collarbones wide. And exhale. Take a few more breaths, breathing into the center of your chest. And then take one hand back down to your abdomen. Let's practice the three part breath. Begin by drawing your breath into the belly, from the belly to the ribs, from the ribs to the chest. Exhale in one breath, release and let go. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, release, and let go. And take a few more three part breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Let your arms come down by your side. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. If your legs are extended, bring your feet flat to the floor. Gently sway your legs from side to side. And just feel the glutes and the sacrum of each move. And then extend your legs. Reach your arms up behind you. Stretch out through your fingertips. Gently press your heels down. Lift your kneecaps up and stretch your body. And then exhale your arms by your side. Inhale, reach up, stretch the arms behind you, point your toes, do a pelvic tilt, and then exhale your arms by your sides. Inhale, reach up, stretch the arms away, press up through the balls of your feet, press down with your heels, stretch the arms away from your feet, and then relax the legs, bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Spread and close your fingers. And then open and close your hands. Tuck your thumbs under your fingers and then make some circles with your wrists. And then pause and go the other way. Flip your palms up to the ceiling. Point your fingers down and just wave the hands up and down. Bring your palms together. Interlace your fingers and then turn the palms up towards the ceiling. <coughs> Take your folded hands behind you, press out through your palms, stretch the body, release the interlace in your fingers, wiggle them. Hold on to opposite elbows. Let your arms rest either behind you or on your forehead. And just take a moment while you're resting here on the mat to scan your body. Feel the parts of the body touching the mat. Notice any place where you might be holding in or holding or gripping, holding tension. And just breathe into that spot. With your next <clears throat> Exhalation, draw the folded arms up. Bring them down just above your ribs. Make some circle with your arms. Reach your arms to the ceiling with the palms facing each other. Shrug the shoulders up and bring them down. Shrug your shoulders up and bring them down. 
shrug your shoulders up and bring them down. Refold your arms, make circles in the other direction. Slide your arms to the right and look left. Slide your arms left, look right. Take your arms up to the ceiling, take them behind you. Fold the arms again. Hold on to opposite elbows. Walk the legs to the left corner of your mat. Draw the arms all the way over to the, <clears throat> to the left and press up through your heels. And then walk yourself back through the middle. Take the legs over to the right corner and then draw the arms all the way over to the other side. and then come back to the middle. Stretch the arms out behind you. Take a nice deep breath in, stretch the body. Then exhale your arms down by your sides. Scrunch and spread your toes. Point and flex your feet. Make some circles with your ankles. And go the other way. Bring your big toes together and then windshield wipe your legs. Slide your heels, tap the legs. And then if you have a bolster, sit up and take the bolster to the top of your mat. Otherwise, just stay down on your mat, bring the, so bring the soles of your feet to the floor. Slide the butt of flesh down towards your heels. And then walk your hands down towards your feet. Press your feet, press the lower back into the mat. And release. Press your feet, press the back into the mat. And release. Press your feet, press the back into the mat. And release. Draw your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. And then hug the knees in, take them as wide as your shoulders, rock your knees from side to side. Come back to the middle, let the knees fall away, cross your ankles left over right and make circles around the low back and sacrum. Draw the knees in, rock them in and up. Let the knees fall away. Recross the ankles. Make circles in the other direction. Hug your knees in, rock them in and up. And then just hug them in. Uncross your ankles, hold on behind the knees, rock your thighs in and out. And then take the feet flat up to the ceiling, point and flex again. Make circles with your ankles. And then the other way. Press the legs up and then bring them in. Press the legs up and bring them in and press the legs up and bring them in and rock your thighs in and out. 
Bring your feet to the floor. Extend your arms and your legs. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt. And then bring your left thigh in and rock your thigh. Bring your thigh in towards your ribs and then take the left knee over to your right shoulder. And then bring the left knee to the left shoulder. Make some circles with your left hip. And then go the other way. And then hug your thigh in and reach your leg up. Bend and straighten. And then keep a little bend in your knee, rock your thigh in and out. Keep your thigh at your ribs, walk your hands up towards your shin or your ankle and straighten the back of your leg. Bring the arch of your left foot to your right knee, left hand out to a T and draw the knee over to the right. Flex your right foot. Come back up to the middle, extend your arms and your legs, point your toes, do a pelvic toe, and then bring the right thigh in and rock your right thigh in and out. Keep your thigh hugged in and then bring your right knee over towards your left shoulder. And then bring your right knee to the right shoulder. Come back to the middle. Let the knee fall away. Make some circles with your right hip. And pause. Go the other way. And bring your thigh in towards your ribs. Stretch your leg up. Hold on behind your thigh. Bend and straighten your leg. Rock your thigh in and out. Draw your thigh in towards your ribs. Reach your hands up, straighten your leg. And then bring the right foot to the left knee and take the knee over to the left. Flex your left foot. Back to the middle, bring both feet to the floor. Press your feet into the mat, press the floor back into the mat, and release. Step your feet one step wider, press your feet, press your back into the mat, and release. And then one step wider still, maybe even to the edges of your mat, press your feet, press your back into the mat and release and then walk your feet back to hip distance apart. Take the left shin over the right knee and then roll open your right, your left hip with the left knee. Draw your knees into your chest, walk them in and out. Hug your knees in, take them over towards your right shoulder. Come back to the middle, Lower the right foot to the floor, cross the left leg all the way over. Bring your knees into your chest and gently rock them in and out. Keep your knees hugged in for a moment. Slide your hands down towards your shin or your ankle and then separate your feet. Bring your right foot to the floor. Take the left hand to a T and take both knees over to the right. Come back up to the middle. Take the feet as wide as your mat. Drop your knees from side to side.
and then step the feet back to hip distance. Take your left right shin over the left knee. Use your right hand to roll open the right hip, and then bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. Bring your knees into your chest. Take them slightly over towards your left shoulder. Come back to the middle, lower your left foot to the floor, cross the right leg all the way over. Bring the knees in and rock. Soften your belly. And keep your knees hugged in. Slide the hands down to your ankles or your shins. Separate your feet. Bring your left foot to the floor. Take your right arm out to a T. And then take your knees all the way over to the left. Come back up to the middle. Take the feet as wide as your mat. Rock your knees from side to side. And then take the knees all the way over to the right. Come back up to the middle. Take the knees all the way over to the left. Go back up to the middle, extend your arms and your legs, point your toes, do a pelvic toe. Exhale your arms down by your sides and take a hold of your belt. Bring your feet to the floor. Take the left foot into the belt. And then walk your hands up towards your foot. Bend and straighten the knee. And then rock your thigh in and out a little. And now lower the leg down towards to be even with your knee. And then pull the leg up. Lower the leg down to be even with your right knee. And then draw the leg up. One more time. Lower the leg down. Draw the leg up. Bring it to perpendicular. Hold on to the belt with your left hand, right hand to your right hip. As you exhale, lower the left leg to the left and the right knee to the right. And then come back up to the middle. Take the belt into your right hand, cross the right knee behind your left thigh and lower the left leg to the right. Come back up to the middle. Bend and straighten a couple times. And then press the leg up and bring your right foot into the belt and lower the left foot to the floor. Bend and straighten. And then lower your leg down to be even with the left knee. And then bring the leg up and lower down. And lift up and lower down. And lift up. And then take the belt into your right hand, left hand to your left hip. Lower the left knee to the left, right leg to the right. Come back up to the middle. And take the belt into your left hand. Cross the left knee behind your right thigh and lower the right leg to the left. Come back up to the middle, bend and straighten. And then take both legs into the belt. Take your feet about hip distance apart. Press the edges of your feet into the belt. And then release the leg. 
Separate the legs as wide as you can and rock from side to side. And then you can bring the feet back to the floor, extend the legs, extend your arms. Reach and stretch. And then exhale the arms down by your sides. Bend your knees, roll to one side, and come up to a seated position. And just close your eyes. Let your sitting bones be heavy. Bring your shoulders over your hips, your ears over your shoulders. Lower your chin to your chest. With each one of your exhalations, feel the chin get closer and closer to your chest. Let the head be heavy. Keep your chin tucked in and gently roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Reach your right arm away, wiggle the fingers. And then come back to the middle, roll your chin to your chest, and then take the left feet right here to the right shoulder. Reach the left arm away, wiggle your fingers. And then come back to the middle. Bring your chin back to your chest, uh, back to parallel. Turn your head to the right. And then turn your head left. And come back to the middle and you can open your eyes, take your arms up, reach up, turn the palms and exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up, turn your palms, exhale. Inhale, reach up, interlace your fingers, turn the palms up to the ceiling. Exhale to the right. Inhale up and exhale left. And inhale up, round your back as you lower your arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower your arms round your back. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, round. Inhale, reach up. Release your arms, roll your shoulders. Reverse. Inhale, the shoulders up. Exhale, with a hop. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale. Reach across and down. And come back and across and down. And come back. Take the left arm across the body and stretch the arm across the front of the body. And then do the same on the other side. Reach up with the left arm, turn it in towards your ear, bend your elbow, and stretch the triceps. And then release, roll the shoulders. Reach up with your right arm, turn it in towards your ear, bend your elbow, and then stretch. Release your arms, roll your shoulders. Reverse. And then take your legs out long in front of you. Slide the heels, tap your legs. And then just bring your hands forward. 
Press down into your shins, lift up your chest. And then bend your knees. Bring your hands through the center. Press your fingertips down and round your back. Extend your legs, hinge forward. And then bend your knees, round your back. Extend your legs and hinge forward. Press down into your shins, lift up your chest. And then walk yourself back up. Hold on behind your left knee and bring the left foot into your right thigh. Excuse me, look out, bend, hinge forward. Okay. And then walk yourself up, twist towards your bent knee. And twist towards your straight leg. Come back to the middle, hinge forward. Hold on to the outside of your right foot with the left hand or outside of your right shin. Bring your tented fingers next to your right hip. Press down with the fingertips, inhale and lift up. And then twist to the right. Come back to the middle and walk yourself up. And then extend the left leg, slide your heels. And then bring your right foot into the left thigh. And walk yourself forward. Come back up to the middle. Twist towards your bent knee. And then twist towards the straight leg. And come back, walk yourself forward. Hold on to the outside of the left foot or left shin with the right hand. Tent the fingers of your left hand next to your left hip. Press the fingertips down, lift up your chest, and then twist to the left. Come back to the middle, walk yourself up. Extend both legs, slide your heels. And then hold on behind both knees, draw the knees in, and then take the legs wide. Roll the thigh flesh down towards your heel, towards the floor, and fold forward. Walk over to your right thigh and stretch through your left hand. And then come back through the middle, walk over to your left thigh, stretch through the right hand. Walk back through the middle, walk yourselves up, hold on behind your knees, bring the soles of the feet together. And then take your hands behind you and let your knees drop open. Bring the feet flat to the floor, gently rock your knees from side to side. And then come up on your hands and knees for a moment or two. All right, and then round your back. And lift your chest and run and lift and run and lift and then come to a neutral spine. Take the right leg out behind you, rock your toes, and then press your heel away. Then bring that leg back and then take the left leg out behind you, rock your toes. And press your heel away. And bring that leg back, round your back. 
and lift your chest. And then come to neutral. Take your right arm and left leg up. And then lower. Left arm, right leg. And lower. Right arm, left leg. And lower. Left arm, right leg. And lower. And then bring your big toes together, separate your knees, press your hips back for child pose. Well, we come back up to table. I'm gonna remove my blanket. And then take your blocks. And let's let's step the feet forward, come up to your forward fold. Your feet are about a hip distance apart. The weight of your body is on the balls of your feet. Have your blocks either just underneath your shoulders or slightly in front of your shoulders. Good. And then bend and straighten your knees. And then bend your knees a lot, send your hips to the wall behind you, and lift up your chest. And then straighten the legs. Bend your knees for ski jump. Good. And then straighten the legs. One more time, bend your knees. And then straighten your legs. Hold on to opposite elbows. And then just gently twist from side to side. Bend your knees and press into the floor. Slowly roll yourself up. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale to the right. And come back up. Exhale left. And come back up. Twist to the right. Center and twist left. Center, release your arms, bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a hop. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale your arms up. Fold forward. Inhale halfway up. Exhale and lower down. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor and walk your feet back or step your feet back for downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Look forward to your hands and step your left foot forward. Stay on your right tiptoes, curl tiptoes. And then slowly come up, bring your hands to your left thigh. And reach your arms up. Crescent lunge. Straighten your front leg and lower your arms. Keep your eyes focused and then bend your front knee and reach your arms up. Straighten the front leg, lower your arms and then bend your knee and reach up. Hinge forward, bring your hands to the floor, step your right foot forward to forward fold. Inhale halfway up, exhale and lower down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale halfway and lower down. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor. Walk or step your feet back for downward facing dog.
Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Step your right foot forward. Keep your left toes curled. Bring your hands to your right thigh. Slowly come up. And then take your arms up for crescent lunge. Straighten your front leg and lower your arms. And then reach your arms up and bend. Straighten your leg, lower your arms. And then straighten, I mean, bend your knee and reach up. Lower your hands down to the floor. Step your left foot forward to forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale your arms down by your sides. Pause for a moment in Tadasana. Take a few breaths. Maybe even close your eyes as you stand here. And just notice the difference standing in mountain pose with the eyes open versus the eyes closed. And then open your eyes if they're closed. Come to the center of your mat. Bring your blocks to the back corners of the mat. And hands to your hips. Take the feet wide. Turn your right toes out to 90 degrees and turn your left toes in. Soften your knee, turn your thigh, and then straighten your leg. Reach your arms up to a T. Reach back with your back hand. Bend your left, right knee for warrior, warrior two. Good. Lower your back hand to your thigh. Lift your palm and reach up for reverse warrior. Come back to warrior two. Bring your back hand to your hip. Glide forward, bring your forearm to your thigh. Roll the left shoulder back and then reach up with your left arm and bring it next to your left ear. Good. Sweep the arm down, um, reach for your block, bring it to the inside of your right foot. Turn your left toes so your heel goes to the ceiling. And you can stay right here if you want. If you want to try, you can take the right arm up. And then bring the right arm back to your thigh. Spin the left heel back down onto the floor and then reach the left arm out in front of you. Come back up to warrior two. Good. Reach back with the back arm. Straighten your front leg. Bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. So take your block, the other block on the other side to the front corner of your mat instead of the back. And then turn your left toes out, right toes in. Soften your knee, turn your thigh and straighten your leg. Reach your arms out to a T and relax your shoulders. Reach back with your back hand, bend your left knee for warrior two. Lower your back hand to your thigh, flip your palm, reach up for reverse warrior. And then bring your hands back to parallel. Bring your back hand to your hip, glide forward, bring your forearm to your thigh. Roll the right shoulder back, 
Reach up with your right arm and then bring it next to your right ear. Sweep the right arm down to the block on the inside of your left foot. Spin your right heel up towards the ceiling. You can stay right here if you like, or take your left arm up. Bring the left arm back to your thigh. Spin your heel back down onto the mat. Reach the right arm out in front of you, and then spin back to warrior two. Reach back with your back arm, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. Good. Heel toe, your feet together or step or hop your feet together. And then bring your hands to your hips, bring your feet together. Find a focal point and steady your gaze on that spot. Press down into the left big toe and big toe mound. And then take your right foot either to your ankle or to your calf, or if you're accustomed to it, you can go all the way up into your thigh, if you want. And then when you're ready, pick your arms up. Good, 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 good. Release your arms, release your leg. Bring your hands to your hips. Press down into the right big toe and big toe mount. Focus to your gaze. Take your left foot either to your ankle, your calf, or all the way up into your thigh. <laughs> Try it one more time. There we go. And then hands to the heart and reach your arms up when you're ready. Excellent. And then release your arms, release your leg. Take your feet about hip distance apart. Let's do some circles with the hips. And then go the other way. And we'll step the feet together. And let's um, come on down onto the mat. And slide onto one hip, take your legs out in front of you. And then roll yourself down, bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out gently. And then bring the feet to the floor. Take your block. Lift your hips and slide the block underneath your sacrum. And just pause here for a moment. And then bring your knees into your chest. And then take the legs up long. Pause here. And just notice the sensations in your feet, in your calves, your thighs, your belly. Point and flex your feet. Make some circles. And the other way. And then bend and straighten a couple times. Stretch the legs up. And then bring your feet to the floor. 
Press your feet down into the floor, lift your hips up, and then lower the hips down. Extend your legs and your arms, stretch your body. And then exhale your arms down by your sides, and you can prepare for a Shavasana. Slowly begin to bring some movement back into your body. Draw your knees in towards your chest. And then gently roll to one side. Bring yourself up. Come and sit comfortably. And then bring your hands to the center of your chest, lower your head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in the heart. May the longtime sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. Namaste. Namaste.